All right, y'all, I just want to show you what I got so far so you can check my work. Uh, made my straps today. Solid. Uh, what else? Put the holes. Got my contactors in there. Uh, my bus bars. Oh, I got it all grounded. It's not tight yet. It'll eventually be cleaned up. Like that. Same with over there. <clears throat> Got the grounding straps I still gotta cover up. Uh, I'm, I put an extra one for uh, to ground the engine to the frame. Uh, That's just what I did on my last engine. I'm using the airframe as a ground because that's what the previous builder did for all the lights and everything. So I don't really feel like undoing all that and running a ground for each light because he terminated the grounds at each location uh when i go leds maybe i'll change it but i don't know i haven't had a problem with using the airframe as a ground i know a lot of guys say not to uh my radio reception's always been crystal clear <clears throat> uh what else okay here's my power for the uh, starter. Here's my diodes. Uh, so anyways, coming out of here through a grommet. Got strain relief on the frame. Engine mount. Oh. Oh, where'd it go? And it goes to the starter. Strain relief in there. Got strain relief there and there to the starter. And then from the starter, I got strain relief there, like in your video. And strain relief there, like in your video. And that's all I got for now. I didn't get a whole lot done because the battery box it takes time. So, as you know. Yep, it's gonna just take me a little bit longer than I thought, but I'm done rushing. And uh, I think I'll have it started next weekend. I got a plan for that. I'm gonna use your, I'm gonna use this without the view. I'm gonna cut this off. And then I'm gonna cut this to size. And I'm going to put my throttle right here. And I'm going to put that instead on an angle. It'll be straight up and down. I think that'll work good. And then I'll have more switches and whatnot on the panel over there. But Yeah, so far. Let me know what you think, Jan. Appreciate it.